Titans felt for him. The IBF Junior Welterweight Championship on the line. The champion Buddy McGirt taking on former Olympic champion Howard Davis Jr. Coming up, Lenny LaPaglia and Art Jimerson. And the rough and tough man from Chicago who has now moved east. One time middleweight fighting as a light heavyweight now. Lenny LaPaglia had a couple of tough losses in his career as a middleweight. One to John Collins in the big battle of Chicago middleweights. And then he lost twice to Danny Blake who stopped him twice and was inactive in 1984. Came back in 85 to try and turn things around. He's done very well since then. And across the way is Art Jimerson. Man who has not had nearly as many fights as Lenny LaPaglia. Wonder if he can withstand the power of LaPaglia. Let's go into the ring to Ed Darian for the introductions to this bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for 10 rounds and it's in a light heavyweight division. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10 round light heavyweight bout, referee Fred Yusi. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the white lettering. He weighed in at an even 173 pounds. This gentleman has nine wins, five losses with two knockouts. From St. Louis, Missouri, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Art Zorro Jimerson. Jimerson. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim. He tipped in at 176 and one half pounds. This young man has 31 wins, five losses with 29 knockouts. The native of Chicago, Illinois. And now residing in Levittown, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, a young man who was ranked number eight by the International Boxing Federation, Lenny the Rage LaPaglia. Lenny LaPaglia won his last fight March 17th here at the Felt Forum. He stopped Robert Foley in the third round. Fred Yusey with the final instructions. Art Jimerson has not fought in a year. His last fight was June 9th. Over a year. 13 months. Lenny LaPaglia, who since that inactive year in 84, is 12 and 2. Overall 31 and 5. There was typical LaPaglia. He banged a left hook to the body and got hit with a left hook by Jimerson. He's banging the body beautifully. He is really hitting Jimerson with some good body shots. 14 times. Lenny LaPaglia has put a man to sleep in this round. Jimerson is going right out at LaPaglia. But once it's been done to him. Danny Blake did it to him back in 1983. Jimerson is fighting a dumb fight standing right in front of this man. He got a move on LaPaglia. Keep your blows up, fellas. Keep your blows up. Robert Foley back in March tried the same thing and hit him, but he got hit in return and had his body ripped apart. And then he was stopped in round three. Paglia scoring big. Jimerson stays right there. Trying to go punch for punch, trying to crowd LaPaglia. In the gym, they're trying to teach Lenny LaPaglia to be a defensive fighter. That's like trying to teach a cat to bark. Watch those heads, fellas. Lenny's strengths lie in his tremendous power. And once he gets on the inside, he'll rip a man up. Back in May 87, Marvin Mack.
took on LaPaglia. Marvin was reputed to have one of the best chins in boxing. It ended in the first round. Jimerson coming right back at LaPaglia. He's not backing off a bit. At the press conference the other day, Jimerson was doing some heavy talking, saying how he's going to just beat up on LaPaglia, make an oh, ankle Good left hook by LaPaglia. Lenny said, I'm going to hurt this guy. I'm going to hurt him bad. He stopped Jimerson. He's shaking him a couple of times, but Jimerson comes back. Jimerson scoring the left hook. <laughs> this is why Lenny is a fight fans fighter. He's there for you. But I'm surprised that Jimerson is just as there. Papaglia with a hard shot to the midsection. Oh, what a shot it was. Jimerson almost doubled over. Good left hook backs him off. Jimerson looking for help from Fred Yusey. He thought it was a low blow. That time there was a low blow. Yes, it was, but not that left hand. It looked like a left uppercut. A few seconds remain. Can he finish him? End of round one. Oh. And a couple of punches by Papaglia after the bell. That was a borderline shot. Oh, that wasn't borderline, Randy. That left hook was clearly after the bell. Art Jimerson felt he was hit by a low blow. Yeah, I got to agree with you. That, that shot, I think he was just going to launch it. Then came the bell, and he said, ah, I'm going to let it go anyway. Now, is this a low blow or not? Oh, no way. No. They don't come cleaner than that. That got him in the side. And now he works him over on the ropes. Jimerson did a fine job of staying up there. Right there, I thought he was finished. That was more or less an arm Seconds punch. Out. Let's go. Seconds out. Of now, the bell is going to ring. Let's go. Seconds out. And I didn't see the bell here at Madison Square Garden. Right. The bell, the light goes on when that bell rings, so it might not have, it might have been that borderline shot. Round two, scheduled for 10. Unless they were late with the lights. Paglia comes out bombing again. Now, I think I see a trickle of blood. It looks like from the right nostril of the Paglia. Not definite, though, about that. Jimerson going to the uppercut. Very hard, strafing uppercut. The Paglia warned to keep his punches up. But again, I felt they were, they were up. I... The Paglia with the uppercuts to the body. I see nothing wrong with those shots, Sam. You're both hitting low. I'm not going to warn you anymore. Keep your punches up, both of you. Fred Yusey. Maybe the midsection to Fred Yusey is low. Good left hook by LaPaglia. Jimerson is hurt again. Trying to cover up. He's wobbly. LaPaglia continues to bang that body. Paglia, who has been in some wars. Watch your elbows there. Now, that was a borderline shot. It landed right around the Jimerson, but still, I thought it was a legal shot. So was that one. Jimerson claims to be a front runner. He so said, I usually root for the St. Louis Cardinals, but now that they're doing bad, nah, I don't really like them. <laughs> Let them come back. I'll root some more. Certainly Good luck cooked by Jimerson. Certainly the Cardinals could use a hitter like this on their team. <laughs> that time LaPaglia was a little low, but he got a good right uppercut in there. I am amazed that Jimerson is still on his feet. Not for long, though. He keeps taking those body shots. He's going down. Step back and break. Now watch your head. Watch your head, both of you. Well, right after the head warning, the heads bump together. They're in close again. LaPaglia has hit Jimerson with some tremendous shots. A toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. You know, it's amazing. There have been a lot more body shots on the part of both fighters than head shots. And you don't see that too often. LaPaglia again took all the wind out of Jimerson with a left hook to the body. Jimerson hangs in there. Good right hand by LaPaglia. Watch your heads, watch your heads. 
Final seconds of round two. Scheduled for 10, light heavyweights, Lenny LaPaglia in the red trunks, Art Jimerson in the black trunks. And this fight has lived up to its billing. A war from the outset. I'm just surprised Jimerson has been on the inside like this with a bomber like LaPaglia. Because it certainly is not his style. In the past, he has not fought like this. Jimerson can take a punch. He has not been stopped. His losses have come by decision. All right, come on. Step back and break. Come on. Break. A six-round decision Five. to Glenn Kennedy, an eight-round decision to Manuel Murillo in 86. But nobody has he ever been in with a good bang like this. Jimerson getting the better of this last exchange. Right, come on. Actually, the fact that he didn't throw on it. Keep your arms free if you want to punch. Watch your heads in there. All right, come on, step back. Watch your head, watch your head. I am truly amazed that Jimerson can possibly Don't hang in there. That, was a, that looked right. to be a low blow. But he has gotten hit with some tremendous rib roses. Fred Yusey has warned the fighters about low blows. Good uppercut. Snap LaPaglia's head back. Let's go. Five. Jimerson trying to find an opening here. Customato used to like to say, impose your will on the guy, break his spirit. And that's exactly what each man is trying to do to the other now, break his spirit. Who's going to break first? Jimerson getting in some good shots. Rocks LaPaglia, who taunts Jimerson, puts his guard down and takes some punishment. What a dumb thing to do. Bobby Cassidy went to the tournament. Bobby Tommy Gallagher of Lenny LaPaglia is going crazy in the corner saying, get your hand up. Bobby Cassidy, one of the trainers of LaPaglia. I don't care what LaPaglia thinks of Jimerson. Just doesn't make any sense to drop the guard down and just stand there taking punches. Macho doesn't win rounds. Baglia landing a good flurry, good left hook by LaPaglia. And the knees of Jimerson went with that shot. Coming to the end of round three. In the box, he, a punch after the bell. And he was warned that next time it happens, he'll have a round taken away from him. This is round four. Scorecards, Randy, what do you think? I've given every round to Lenny LaPaglia, although that last round might have gone to Jimerson. I gave Jimerson the last round. I thought Jimerson started well. LaPaglia had a couple of good flurries in there. Jimerson lands the left hook. What a war this has been. Neither man has been down, but it has been toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Neither man has been an arm's length, more than an arm's length away from the other. Look at this. Jimerson landing both hands. Now you have to wonder about LaPaglia standing up, taking all his punishment. LaPaglia's mother's wondering, too. She's out in the hall here at the belt for him, screaming her head off. Big scoring by LaPaglia. Left hand rocks Jimerson. He's still standing somehow. Art Jimerson is ready to fall. Hey, it's wobbly, but he's hanging in there. Lenny LaPaglia, I don't know what kind of underpinnings he's standing on now. Okay, come on, step back and break from him. Step back and break from him. Impose your will on the man. Break his spirit. Whose spirit is going to break? Jimerson keeps coming. And getting in. Look at LaPaglia. I just can't believe it. Oh, you talk about macho. You also talk about dumb. Dumb, absolutely. What is he trying to prove? 
I think his dislike for Jimerson is so intense that that's why he's doing it. That's what's keeping Jimerson on his feet, his dislike for LaPaglia. In the meantime, Jimerson could steal around with LaPaglia doing that. And again, it's Jimerson landing, and LaPaglia with his both hands down, taking the punches. Oh, just tremendous shot. Every one by LaPaglia. LaPaglia daring Jimerson, saying, go ahead, give me your best shot. Many of those shots are just picked off on the arms of Jimerson. And I'll tell you, these, this is a round that is very yeah, tough to score. Each man is taking turns, landing punches on the other, and landing good punches. Coming down to the end of round four. And Jimerson finishes with a flurry. Going to the corner of Lenny LaPaglia. Nobody gives a shit how tough you are. You understand what I'm saying? Now here's what I want you to do. Alright? Every time you get close here, I want you to step to the right, chop an overhand right and left uppercut. When you finish punches, tie him up and walk him to the right. Listen to what I'm telling you. Fifth round, Jimmy. Fifth round. Give me fucking Jimmy. You understand? Tie him up and walk him to the right. Alright? Punch, all right? After now, punch with the counter. What was he doing? Look punch. at Lenny. Took a few I, I, shots, I, I, just I, I, stood there like I, Superman. I, I, but here's my chin. Bang. No. I don't know if he thinks he's Superman or Super Macho Man or what. But I just can't believe that any anyone would let down their guard and let themselves be hit with those punches. This is round five. You catch that move with the yeah. open hand by Jimerson, a la Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes. Oh, those shots to the body by LaPaglia. They hurt. One right into the chest of Art Jimerson. I have a feeling that Jimerson has had his rib cage replaced years ago and put a what steel cage in there. <laughs> because I have seen guys in the gym with 16, 16, 18 ounce gloves dropped by LaPaglia. There he goes again, dropping the hands, telling him, come on in. He just keeps fighting down on the mouthpiece and LaPaglia does and says, come on, come on, hit me. Fighters oh, come on, back and break. showing little sign of weariness here. Maybe just slowing down a little bit after the furious pace of the first four rounds. Can you blame him? Good combination by Jimerson. Look at this again. LaPaglia with his arms down, just taking the punches. And finally, Wilson goes down. LaPaglia is down. The count is five. Six. LaPaglia is not getting up. Now. Sam, I'm wondering if his will has been broken. Lenny LaPaglia dropped his arms and finally dropped to the canvas. Art Jimerson. Now it's LaPaglia coming back. All right, come on, step back and break clean. Step back and break clean. Watch your soul. Oh, if his will is broken, it's not showing it there. Is he going to take the will of Jimerson away? LaPaglia digging down and battling back, and Jimerson keeps coming. All right, step back and break clean, fellas. Come on. Break clean. LaPaglia coming back. And it, I tell you, Randy, outside of that knockdown, this would have been a LaPaglia round, but he got knocked down. Break clean. Come on. Break clean. Box. Wow. Jimerson staying on top. And again, LaPaglia wilting. His arms go down, and he goes down for the second time in the round. And Yuchi was slow getting on top of him. Five. Six. Up again. Seven. Eight. Three knockdowns in a round will end the fight. Fred Yuchi is checking him out. And the end of round five, and we welcome our viewers across the country watching us on the FNN, on the FNN score net.
Clark. And this is Sam Rosen along with Randy Gordon. Scheduled 10 round fight in the light heavyweight division. This is Lenny Lapaglia who was down twice in round five and also had the round taken away for a low blow. The young fighters out there, we talk about defense. This is not how to do it. Look at this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots. What is 11, he doing? 12, 13. What is he doing? Can you believe that? And again, the arms went down. One, two, three, four, You're right here. five. Gucci is slow right there. The man is down. He should have been right on top of him there. But Paglia was also told by Fred Yussi he had the round taken away for punching after the bell. This is round six. Two knocked down to the fifth round by Art Jimerson. It's scheduled for 10. It's been like this from the opening bell. Toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Each fighter banging the other. LaPaglia letting his guard down, holding his tag a couple of times. And watch your elbows. Most of those shots thrown by Lenny LaPaglia were picked off on the arms of Jimerson. He got them in and he hurt LaPaglia. Again, LaPaglia, LaPaglia's arms down. He just can't keep his arms up, Randy. Look, the guy's never been a defensive fighter. He's got no clue how to get away from those shots. Earlier, it was macho. Now, I think it's just out of frustration. And again, there go the arms down, and there goes Lepaglia through the roof. This time, I think it could be it. That's it. you got to get back in on your own volition, and here he comes. Uh, Lepaglia said, that's it. That's it, it's all over. Lenny LaPaglia is stopped in the sixth round. Art Jimerson withstood the pounding of the first couple of rounds and took it away from Lenny LaPaglia. TKO, Jack. John, TKO, TKO. TKO. You're not going to see TKO. a much more furious fight than that. Wow. Art Jimerson, what a show of heart by Art Jimerson. A couple of times in the fight, it looked like he was ready to go down. Legs wobbled. He was hit with some tremendous body shots. And then he came back good fight, good and fight. took it away from Lenny LaPaglia. Lenny LaPaglia once again with that this is certainly not prevent defense. Here comes Jimerson pounding away, pounding away. And the heart, the spirit of Lenny LaPaglia was broken at this point. He could almost see resignation in his eyes now, protecting his side. Could be that he's got a, an injury because every time he, he got hit on the chin, it was okay. He got hit to the body. He went down. Now watch this. Back against the rope. In comes Jimerson trying to measure him. Takes a few good uppercuts, but he partially picked them off. Then a nice body shot, a whistling head shot, and a few more to the body, and down he went. Art Jimerson closing the show, banging away at LaPaglia's body. And once again, LaPaglia going down for the third time in the fight, and this one is over. Let's get the official time from Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Fred Yusey stops this bout at one minute and 12 seconds of the sixth round, and a winner by a TKO, Art Zoro Jimerson. Jimerson. Quite a performance by Art Jimerson. As we question his tactics, as he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lenny LaPaglia from the outset, withstood the power of LaPaglia and came back to score the TKO victory. Randy will be talking with Art Jimerson in 12th form. Still to come, a scheduled 10 rounder in the cruiserweight division, Seamus McDonough, who lost his last time out, taking on Vince Hopper, who was here in March and fought a draw with Chris Reed. And following that,
June, the welterweight contender Bobby Joe Young will take on Ali Salam. Bobby Joe Young ranked number six by the IBF and hoping to get a shot at Simon Brown taking on Ali Salam. That's still to come on fight night at the Felt Forum. And here, Art Jimerson going on Lenny LaPaglia dropping his arms. This is round five action. And LaPaglia going down after taking 13 straight shots without having his arms up and without retaliating. Went down a second time in the round and then went down for good in the sixth. Randy is with Art Jimerson right now. Let's go into the ring to Randy Gordon. Art Jimerson, this ring has held a lot of outstanding fights and you're gonna go down as one of them against Lenny LaPaglia. How in the world did you stand on your feet under those body shots? Oh man, I trained great. I thank God, first of all, for everything he's done for me. Uh, my trainers, my manager, Steve Conley, had me in great shape. I knew LaPaglia was a rough, tough, coming in all out fighter. So my whole plan was to catch his left hooks. Cause the right hand I've seen coming all day. But now that I was catching the left hooks, you heard me with him a couple times. I don't, Lenny's a great fighter. He fought his heart out, but I think he underestimated me. So the head shots didn't hurt him that much, but the body shots killed him. I think it was in the third round, he hit you with a tremendous left uppercut, right about in here. You buckled over and for a moment it looked like it was over. How did you stay on your feet then? My training my manager had me in great shape. I was doing numerous amount of push-ups and sit-ups. And uh, through the will of God, I had to just dig it out because I knew that I was in his hometown and I had to just pull it out and come up with the victory. I didn't care about going 10. All I cared about was just keep punching, keep punching, and winning. Could you believe that Lenny LaPaglia stood in front of you and dropped his hands as many times as he did? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And uh, it goes to show you that you can't hit a man in the head all the time. You have to go to the body. Because he, he was doing some great shots. And I know I punch hard. So I give him credit, but if you're a boxer, boxing ain't I hit you and you hit me. It's I hit you, you try to hit me. So it was, it was unbelievable, but he would let me punch him like that. Art Jimerson, congratulations tonight. A mediocre record at 10 and 5, but no, this guy no, can no, punch. No, the St. No, Louis no, Cardinals no, gave away no, Jack no, Clark. No, they need no, this no, fighter. No, Art Jimerson, back to ringside and Sam Rose. Thanks, Randy. Art Jimerson just out pounds Lenny LaPaglia. Punch for punch they go. And Jimerson is the last one left standing. He stops LaPaglia in the sixth round. A big loss for Lenny LaPaglia. Still to come, cruiserweights follow Art Jimerson. It'll be Seamus